good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into a, a topic that I've seen on uh, YouTube. It kind of got recommended a little bit. I saw it on some WWE figure shorts. I saw Bretto Live do a video similar to this, but they were kind of doing like just WWE figures in general from then compared to now, you know, doing like a little flashback comparison between figures we used to get, the way they used to come to us, and now, you know, the updated figures and how they appear to us today in 2021. So I figured I would take that a step further and I would do WWE figure customs then versus now, which is pretty sick because because I get to see, you know, the improvement. I get to see how my work has improved. I get to see how my skills have improved in the in the element of WWE action figure customization. And I think you guys are, uh, are going to learn some stuff here today. And maybe you can do the same thing with your figures, depending on how long you've been customizing. But the first figure that we have right here, man, is going to be Finn Balor. Now, you guys know that I've made uh, a bunch, like probably more customs than any other. I would say, you know, my favorite guys, Jeff Hardy, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, those guys are probably up there in terms of how many figures I've done of these guys, but Finn Balor is here, and I will say that I wish that uh, I had some of those classic demons like way back in like 2017, I think it was, or 2016, I think it was 2017, we uh, did like a custom Finn Balor of the month, and every single month I would create a custom Elite Finn Balor. This was a long time ago on Instagram. If you guys follow me from that long ago, a, a huge shout out to you guys, but I used to do these these Finn Balor custom demon figures where I think I made a, a, I made a Saw one, I made a It themed one, I made a Batman one, I made a Grinch one. I think I made like, I made even a Terminator one. I made like five or six of them for about half a year there. And then uh, one day, you know, I just, I ran out of Finn Balors. Today, that probably wouldn't be a problem because you guys know how I am about the Finn Balors and the collecting them. But back then, I used to do a custom Finn Balor all the time. And I think that really got me much better at painting demons and like painting teeth and things of that nature. And I hate that I don't have any of those today because I actually sold them off, I think, a year year and a half ago or something like that, I went through and got rid of all my fantasy demons and kind of just molded it down to one or two couple fantasy demons and then, of course, you know, all of my real Finn Balor ones. But this is a custom that I made shortly after his Elimination Chamber match up there, or it may have even been a year after, but I really wanted the blue gear. It was the year that I got a ton of these for Christmas and I got, like, a ton of the, you know, the rainbow or the WrestleMania 34 Finn Balor gear, the top talents figure, and I made one of them his blue gear here, and you guys can see that we do have the blue on there. It's got you know the black bc on it i really love this gear i really thought we were going to get this in figure form we ended up not getting it which was pretty disappointing but if you compare this to this demon over here you guys can see kind of just the i mean to be fair with you this is probably more of a novice level custom compared to more of a complex expert level you know custom or, or somebody that you know bit off a lot there for the challenge because you guys can see you got like let's let's get in here you guys can see like the eyeballs painted on there you got some like faded details you got some grays brushed in there you got the teeth going around you even got the demon chest teeth going on. You even have the tongue wrapping around. You have this like black and red kind of fading together. You have the like metallic silver glitter trunks with the black on there. Really like one of my favorite demon attires that I've ever done and I never really did anything with it. I didn't even have it really a name for it. I think it was just kind of like a carnage inspired but not exactly carnage but I love the way the teeth came out. All of it's hand painted. You know it took me a while to do. I think it took me like eight hours to do maybe. It may have even been shorter than that. I, I just remember like staying up all night working on on it. So there's the Finn Balor. I really love this. I, like actually taking a look at it now, I actually like it a lot more. But you guys can see the difference. Uh, my paint over here is actually a little bit more thick. To me, this right here kind of looks like it's like printed on. It doesn't look like you can really see the paint like slopped on there, which is really nice. But there's the comparison between the Finn Balors. And I know the, the one's non-demon, the one is demon. So I, I get the idea there. But at the same time, you guys can still see like this one's kind of painted on thick there. I still like this custom a lot, but I think that, you know, you can see the, dif the difference in the skill level there between the two customs. Now, moving on, guys, we do have Seth Rollins. Now, I will say, I want to say the, the White Roman back there is probably the oldest custom, but I want to say this is the second oldest right here, and this is my WrestleMania 34 Rollins. I never liked this, honestly. Like, I, I bit off more than I could chew. I think the dark gray is pretty, pretty clean, but when you get into all these other different gears, I think in one night, I painted up this custom Seth Rollins. I did a WrestleMania 34 Orton. I did a WrestleMania 
Omega 34 Shinsuke Nakamura, and I did the uh, the Seth Rollins there, and I put it all in one video. But you guys can see like the the pattern is clearly like out of line. This is one that I've always wanted from Mattel because mine was so sloppy. Uh, this is all hand painted, so you guys can see how like just just not good, right? I mean, it's it's all over the place. You can see all these like lines mismatched and and totally too thick. Some are too thin. Not enough lines here. Not enough lines there. But I I guess the paint I guess was smooth enough that I went for it because it doesn't look like clumpy or anything. It's just totally uh, just not clean. Like you guys can see like all the lines there. But I didn't think it was too bad. Uh, it's still just not good to me. You know, I could definitely do it a lot better. I think if I tried it again. But I uh, you know I used to stay up all night and just do these customs, man, to to show off and you know just to get because I really wanted the gears. You know, I wanted to get the gears and I wanted to you know show off uh, some customizing skills with those figures. But if you take this one and then you have the Royal Rumble Rollins over here, which is still not good. Like, get in here. Look, look at this right here. Uh, it's very sloppy. Like, look at these lines on the sides right here. You know, this is just total improvement. Like, look at all the sloppiness back here. You guys can just see the improvement between customs when you, uh, you know, when you showcase this. I don't know which one's better. I don't know if the WrestleMania 34 is better or the Royal Rumble back there, but this one right here is one of my favorites. Now, it may not be as clean today because I did use this in a pick fed show, but this Seth Rollins Buzz Lightyear is so beautiful, and you guys can just see, like, look at the lines. The lines are just much better over here. They look a lot smoother. The decals are applied much more clean than you'll see on the Roman Reigns. All the colors are very flat and nice. Like, you get some good smoothness in there. It looks factory, or it, it has kind of a factory element. It's not perfectly factory, but it definitely looks a lot better than these other two sets over here. So, dude, it just goes to show when, you know, you put time into something and you put some effort into it, you should improve. Now, it's not always a guarantee that you will improve, but uh, it's a pretty good chance that if you put in the time, you put in the effort, you will improve at the skill there. Here's another Punisher Seth Rollins or another Seth Rollins custom where I did paint it up. And this is just so much more clean. Doesn't it look a lot more effective? It looks way more clean. It looks a lot more professional. It looks like I know what the hell I'm doing because I, I gained that experience, right? I used these as a stepping stone to get these better looking gears. You know, I learned how to get better, better applicants of the paint, you know, better brushes. I got better paints. I thinned out my paints. I learned a better process. And uh, I think it all paid off here. So you get, you know, the black and white Punisher gear. Really like this Punisher gear, Rollins, but that's kind of two former Seth Rollins that, you know, maybe I, I wasn't as, you know, good at painting. I didn't really take my time with it. And then you compare them to customs that are more relevant and you have the Buzz Lightyear and the Punisher. So I get, I don't know, maybe it's just because when I try to copy gear that they actually wore, it turns out garbage. And then when I try something that's all out of my brain, it turns out a lot more clean and it turns out a lot better. But I don't know. I really want to get back into the custom game and painting up and figures and stuff of that nature because it's really fun. I always enjoy doing that and it's something that I haven't done in a really long time. I'd like to get back into that, but here we go, guys. We got another one. This is the white Roman Reigns gear. This uh, was one of my most liked pictures on Instagram ever. I think it has some of the most highest impressions, and that's back when my Instagram didn't have really uh, that big of a following whatsoever. So, you guys can see here the, with the decal placement, it is all over the place, so there's that, but uh, it's just all white gear. I literally took some white paint, and I just, you know, I went at it. Like, if you saw it in person, it looks kind of wretched. It looks cool on video, and it looks cool for pictures, but in person, it's definitely thick. You can see like some thickness compared to some thinness. I remember like sealing this thing up like he, he can barely like move his leg there. I guess it's not terrible. I'm not going to use this in a damn show or anything, but you know, I, I always loved this figure. Like I remember when I used to do like the custom white gears all the time. I did Triple H. I think I did Randy Orton or something like that. So uh, that's one of the ones that I really enjoyed doing, even though it's just so, like everything is white. So like the, the thin, I did not thin out my paints, I don't think with this figure, but over here here's the new one. It's more simple. You know, I didn't make this head sculpt or anything, but I did paint the legs that looks, you know, pretty factory. It looks thin. It's all one coat and all solid. Same thing on the gauntlets over here. So, you know, it's completely different as far as like the, the, the scheme is going. You got like a full gear and then you have just some, some slight things going on here. But I think that's kind of where the customization has varied is where you, you know, you can get better at applying techniques and you're not painting straight over a whole figure. You know, you apply little custom details to create and bring together a full factory figure. So that's kind of where you, you learn too is like a better formula, a better way to do what you want to do. And I think that's one of the learning curves also of being a customizer. But let's move on to the last one that we have here. And it's going to be this guy. I hate this figure. And it doesn't look that bad, but it is based on the Jax TNA Jeff Hardy in the pink gear. And it doesn't look bad on video, but it's god awful, man. The arms are all f Like, let's get in here and look. Look at those elbow joints, man. Like, look at the paint shipping. Oh, uh, dude, what a brutal looking figure. It doesn't look bad on the shelf and the pink is really nice and saturated but Jesus man this is 
one of the customs that I hate the most. It gave me so many headaches. I repainted these arms a hundred times. It kept chipping on me. The face paint isn't horrific. It's just not my favorite. The pinks are totally off. It's just one of those. It's kind of loosey-goosey. It's god-awful. When you compare this to the, the Punisher Hardy over here that performed in a pick fed, uh, this one is much better, man. This one just, it, it just warms my heart. I love this. You know, Punisher is one of my favorite, favorite comic book characters of all time. Hence why I have a Jeff Hardy and a Seth Rollins. I also have a Finn Balor, but that's based off the Prince Devitt version. But uh, this is just a lot cleaner, man. It just looks so much better to me. It's very nice. I love the way everything came out with it. Let's Let's get a zoom in shot of these face sculpts. I mean, is it even a competition, man? Like, th this over here just looks much better. I know it is a better head sculpt, but that, it just came out way more clean, right? Like, it's just so nice, and I was really happy with the way this came out, man. A much better approach. Like, you, as you continue to customize, as you continue to get better, man, you just learn to you, you learn to prep your figures. You learn to approach figures differently when you go into a custom instead of just whipping out the brush. I gotta get it done as fast as possible, rushing into it and making it look like complete garbage. So, there's a learning curve to this thing. And uh, I thought it was fun to, you know, just to take us back a little bit. Maybe some of this will be a little bit nostalgic for some of you out there if you were around when we did some of these customs, man. But I think that pretty much wraps up today's video. It was really nice to jump into the time machine and kind of, you know, showcase some of these figures that we did back in the day and compare them to some of the customs that we have, you know, now or more recent. Some of these obviously were not made. I don't even know when the, I guess the Roman Reigns would be the most recent one. But at the end of the day, it was really nice to just take a look at all the things we used used to do on the channel and maybe we can get back to customizing as the Finn Balor does a face plant but I think that is going to wrap up today's video man let me know if you'd like to see a part two of this maybe we can compare some more customs I tried to think of like ones that are more recent I don't know why the exposure is so damn high right now but I try to think of figures that were more recent to do that way you know I could kind of get it more of the now instead of the then but I don't know I, I I did I call myself trying to get more recent customs you know I've been I've been trying to do more of fix-ups than customs but I don't know you guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below but anyways guys i'm getting out of here thank you guys so very much for watching let me know what you think of all the customs here are you a customizer have you ever tried doing some customs and and, and comparing them to you know how long have you been customizing how much better have you gotten all those things but i'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video do not cross the line like i did when i thought i nailed this wrestlemania 34 seth rollins you cross